friends, today we would be talking about the properties of sodium thiosulfate. Sodium thiosulfate is seen as pentahydrate that is Na2S2O35H2O. Let us see the physical appearance of the salt. You can see that sodium thiosulfate forms colorless crystals. It is also highly soluble in water. Let us see the action of heat on solid sodium thiosulfate. Here I have taken some crystals of sodium thiosulfate and I am heating it on an alcohol burner. You can see that on increasing the heat, the solid has started to turn liquid. This is because the compound is dissolving in its own water of hydration. If I heat the solid extremely, it will decompose to form sodium polysulfides. Now let us see the various chemical reactions of sodium thiosulfate. Let us see the classical reaction of sodium thiosulfate with dilute acid. Here I have taken approximately 50 ml of sodium thiosulfate into which I added dilute sulfuric acid. You can see that immediately there is precipitation of colloidal sulfur. You can see the chemical reaction here. The same chemical reaction has been modified to form the setting sun classical demonstration. Here in this tray I have taken sodium thiosulfate solution and on one edge of the tray I have placed a light source. Now I am adding dilute sulfuric acid into it. You can see that the slow precipitation of sulfur in its colloidal form gives an appearance of the setting sun. On the right side you can see the orange color which is turning darker and darker towards the left. Now we see the reaction of sodium thiosulfate with copper sulfate. Here I have taken some copper sulfate solution and I have added sodium thiosulfate into it. You can see that immediately the blue color of copper 2 sulfate has turned into green color of copper 1 sulfate. Now we see the reaction of sodium thiosulfate with silver nitrate. Here I have taken some silver nitrate solution in this beaker and I will be adding sodium thiosulfate solution. Care has to be taken that silver nitrate should be excess than sodium thiosulfate for this reaction to take place forward. Initially it forms a white colored precipitate of silver thiosulfate then it turns darker and darker forming silver sulfide. The silver thiosulfate which was white in color was reduced to silver sulfide. It is a black precipitate. So on the transition from white to black you see these varying colors. Now we see the reaction with ferric chloride that is iron 3 chloride. I have taken the solution of ferric chloride in this beaker and now I will be adding sodium thiosulfate into it. You can see that immediately on adding sodium thiosulfate there is formation of a dark color. That is because of the formation of iron thiosulfate. Later on mixing the solution well reduction occurs and it forms ferrous ion and that color will turn to a lighter brown color. Next reaction is with acidified potassium permanganate solution. First of all I will dissolve some solid potassium permanganate in water. You can see the beautiful purple color of permanganate. After dissolving the permanganate I will acidify it by adding 2 to 3 drops of dilute acetic acid or you can use plain vinegar. After acidifying it I will be adding the sodium thiosulfate. You can immediately see that the color of the sodium thiosulfate is discharged and it forms the colorless solution. You can see some precipitate in it because I had not dissolved the potassium permanganate completely in the initial step. If someone knows what that black precipitate is please do tell that in the comment section. Next we see the reaction with bromine water. I have taken some bromine water in this beaker and I will be adding sodium thiosulfate. You can see that immediately the color of bromine is discharged. Now we see the reaction of sodium thiosulfate with aluminium cations. Here I have taken some heated aluminium chloride solution into which I am adding sodium thiosulfate. 
On adding the thiosulfate, the color of the solution is turning pale that is because of formation of colloidal sulfur and a white gelatinous precipitate of aluminium hydroxide is formed. This reaction can be used in analytical chemistry for the qualitative analysis of aluminium cations. Now we see the solubility of silver halides in sodium thiosulfate. I have taken some silver chloride in this beaker and I am adding sodium thiosulfate. You can see that it is dissolving in it. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you loved this video, do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you will be notified about my new videos.